Well, hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and P.O. Combs Asian Art in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And today is Friday, uh, January 25th, 2019. And this is our weekly look back at eBay's auction results and see what's coming up next week. And there'll be things on Catawiki as well. Before we get started, I wanted to mention something that you, some of you folks might find kind of handy. Uh, last week, a uh, week or so ago, Christie's ended two sales that were online. They were Chinese uh, export porcelain uh, uh, items. And, and there are, many of them were the types of things that do turn up on eBay from time to time and is a handy reference tool for checking out prices, checking values before you bid on eBay. You can pop over to Christie's, and um, if you go to their results page right now, you're going to find uh, this. This was the... Uh, auction that was done uh let me see this was the uh online auction that they did it was online only and you can buy here by the way people think oh it's because it's christie's you can't afford it um there are some pretty good buys that pop up on here but on here are a lot of examples and many of the things that we've seen on ebay over over we see every year uh, mugs and uh you know uh, bowls and dishes and whatnot and with the prices realized of what they bring in new york at, at, a, at a large you know heavily advertised auction focusing on collectors okay and then there's also on there right now and you can bookmark these pages or or take screenshots of them or do something get the prices uh, locked in uh, for future reference was this this was the Hoodriff collection uh, he was an, a, a huge collector of Chinese export art um, Christie's has been selling off um, uh, he, he passed away and uh, p selling off uh, his collection uh, over the last couple of few years but uh, great material interesting material and um, if you're interested in bidding on these sales you can always get a hold of Christie's they'll send you condition reports and do all that business and um, uh, it's a good place to buy all right and if you you check some of the prices out in, in here on things and you, you, a lot of you will recognize some of these things you'll say no that's not a crazy price for that you know like this great Kangxi uh, dish uh, saucer with the uh, with the with the uh, foo lion in it. it went for twenty seven hundred dollars um, very nice pair of uh, these are very uh, gin bottles uh, transitional period gin bottles high-end ones they brought eighteen thousand um, uh, you have this uh, grisaille decorated uh, uh, crucifixion plate, 1800. I, I remember we had um, we had those on eBay. Uh, I don't know, there were several of them over the last couple of years, and they all bring around that price. All right, so it's a very good reference source for prices, uh, sort of in the in, you know nearing the top tier of the market. Here's a big Kangxi blue and white jar, went for 3500. It may have had some repairs to it, so but you can always check. Always check and get the condition reports. All righty, just a thought, and uh, it's a it's a it's a handy thing. The catalog, by the way, for the Hoodriff collection is on the Bitamount site in the uh, reference in those reference catalogs that we keep that you can access either off the home page or uh, th on the forum page, and there are other places on the site where they're available. The other thing I wanted to mention was that we've been doing some housekeeping, and many of you, uh, a couple of people, noticed it. I got four or five emails saying thank you. Um, we took the home page. And, uh, and, and created a section for all the links to the things that are currently available on eBay and on Catawiki, um, uh, including non-Asian non antiques. Um, a lot of people that collect Chinese stuff, not surprisingly, collect other antiques as well. Uh, clocks, decorative items, French, French objects, English objects, so forth. And uh, we've set those up here. So if you want to look around, you need a rug for your house. Um, we have a section for carpets, good silver, and that kind of thing as well. Uh, uh, man does not live by Chinese porcelain alone. All righty. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see how the porcelain and objects did do this week. All right. The first thing up is this, was this very nice uh, jade uh, belt handle that was made into a mirror. I didn't think the mirror was particularly great itself, or the magnifying glass, rather. But the jade, jade belt hook was quite nice. It was a good one. It had good color. And uh, it did pretty well. It brought $965, all right? Um, most of that value is not tied to the uh, magnifying glass. It's tied to the, um, uh, uh, the handle, the belt hook. All right. I didn't agree with them on the date on that. I think that's a 19th century belt hook, but um, those are often misdated. I, you're paying it for it based on the quality of the jade. And then on to this, this dandy little uh, sort of pomegranate formed uh, uh, bowl laying on its side with the, uh, the top over here and uh, nicely decorated, good looking Famille Rose. Um, well done, and it had a chip out of it here on the back side, okay? 
but not a big problem. That's a pretty easy fix. And it went fairly reasonably, $273. This was sold by Grand Pip. He's a seller over in the UK we keep track of. He gets nice things. He's on here all the time. All right, and then there was this, this nice Famille Rose uh, vase, Mandarin vase, uh, good size. And I've noticed lately the prices on these have become pretty favorable if you if you collect them. Uh, this was a good one. It was around probably, it looks like it's probably about 15 inches tall. How tall is it? 34 centimeters. Okay, so it's about 13 inches tall. Went for just $383. Very reasonable price. All right, very nice. This was in the newsletter. And then over here there was this. There was a series of these paintings up by a seller. Um, these are good-looking uh, uh, framed uh, uh, Chinese watercolors with script and colophons. Always collectible with, with, when you have a lot of script. With, a, with a, Usually it's a poem, and I'm sure this, I, I don't know what the story was. I, I couldn't read it, but, but it's, it's probably some sort of a, obviously some sort of Chinese story. And um, there were three of these up. This one went for $3,100. And the other examples brought about the same price, okay? They were all in that range. Nice quality, probably 18th, early 19th century. All right, and then this, if you're a Japanese collector, this is a pretty good buy. This is a little bargain of the week. It was an early uh, Japanese Amari uh, jar, um, a nice old one. This was an early 18th century pot uh, from the looks of it, and it went for, look at that, $117. How can you go wrong? This was from the ceramics and collectibles over in the Netherlands. It was a very, very good buy. All right, and then on to this was this, this nice uh, transitional period uh, 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 bird and uh, wisteria, it looks like uh, uh, brush pot. Here's a picture of the bottom of it. Good old one. Uh, nice color, good good dark blue on it. The seller had a few of them. And uh, it went for $2,828. Good example. All right. And then on to this, there was this uh, 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 Lung, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, liver red uh, bowl. Uh, it had a Christie's label on it and a Vermeer and Griggs label on it. And it looked fine to me when we saw it. When it, it had just gone up, it wasn't, uh, the price wasn't uh, very much, but the piece looked good to us. It has a tiny nick down here in the rim. Here's a picture, a side shot of the foot, which is how that foot should look. Nice, neat ending to the glaze and slight, that, that sort of yellowish ivory uh, uh, tone, vanilla tone um, that comes from the firing. And it did pretty well. It brought $6,700, which is probably about what it would have brought at Christie's. All right, and then on to this. This was something I liked a great deal. You see these carved and molded coconut things uh, fairly often, but generally they're in the form of a, just a bowl, uh, often lined with silver or tin, that kind of thing. This was a full teapot, which is quite unusual. These are, this is a rare thing with these Shao characters and precious objects and so forth on it. This was a very high-quality thing. Here's a picture of the top, or the bottom, rather. Here's a picture of the side. You can really see the quality of the carving on this was excellent. This was a good thing, all right? And it came with this toggle, a little pair of carved shoes, all right? And um, with little jade, little jade doodads on them. And the, the two things brought $1,333, okay? I think that was a very nice buy. That was a very fine little piece of uh, 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 coconut. And um, uh, the, the, the little walnut and jade shoes were just sort of a nice addition. Cut, they were cute, but I don't think they added a lot to the price. All right, and then on to this was this this dandy little blue and white vase. Almost looked like a snuff bottle, which was which was which was based on the form, this sort of a squared shoulder affair. It had a Chenwa mark on the bottom. Obviously, it's not Chenwa, but um, any rate, it brought twelve hundred and seventy-eight dollars. It was a very nice little uh, little example, and this was something Grand Pip had um, over in, in the UK. And then on to these, very nice pair of uh, Chen Long Famille Rose, uh, possibly late Yong Chen uh, saucers uh, with, um, with uh, vases of different types flowing over with flowers, nice pink rim on them. Um, here's the back of it, nice, to very typical back, okay? And uh, it did, uh, pr uh, did pretty well, but not a, not a crazy price, $371 for the pair. Okay, this was China Teak. Uh, uh, they've been uh, getting more and more things. They, we spotted them a, a while ago, a year or so ago. They've only sold a few hundred things, but 
they tend to have nice things and we tend to feature them because of it. All right, and then on to this was this dandy, um, brilliantly cover, colored uh, dragon robe, um, a nice example, 19th century one um, with a, a beautifully developed skirt on it. The skirt on this was quite good. And uh, again, uh, it had uh, 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 four dragons and uh, clouds and so forth. Uh, here's a picture of the dragon up close. Good quality uh, gold thread work there. And uh, here's, here's the apron with the crashing waves. Very typical. And uh, it did quite well. It brought $4,250, okay? And this was a seller we, we uh, don't see very often, but every once in a while they pop up and um, we catch them. And this was a nice thing. All right, and then on to this. This was that lovely set of Republican period um, uh, uh, Famille Rose panels that were down in Rhode Island at Woolworst. These were wonderful. Um, as I said last week, I wish I'd seen this when it was up when I was doing the Republican uh, porcelain video. I would have included it. And uh, last week when we looked at it, it was at around $6,000. And we sort of speculated it might get up to around 12000 maybe more, but probably in the $12,000 range. And... Uh, there it is. It brought eleven thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars. All right, so we were we were off by forty bucks. Not bad, but that was a nice thing. Uh, that was a really good looking set, and um, how we sort of calculated the price on. I figured each panel was probably worth around three thousand um, dollars. Sort of figured it that way. But it's a beautiful composition. I hope that the, the buyer paid for it. And um, good luck shipping those bad boys. Those are a pain. All right, and then on to this. A very nice pair of late 19th century Femi June uh, dragon vases. This is a nice mirrored pair. Uh, very good quality. Nice color. Um, here's a picture of it up close. Good, good turquoise groundwork here. And um, they did pretty well. They brought $1,625. Very attractive, though. Very attractive porcelain. And then on to this, this is uh, one of the last things was this uh, very nice and interesting. This was one of these uh, uh, Chinese blue and white pieces that got shipped over to the, to the probably to, uh, let's see here, over to the, this is European. I don't know the, I didn't look up the silver mark, but anyway, and they put beautiful silver mounts on it, okay? This was something that was often done, and they did it sometimes when pieces got cracks on them, and this one has a crack in it, and they would add, there's 18th century porcelain, but they would add sterling silver mounts, sort of hold it together, and this was some sort sort of a, you know, a little, little table basket. But good silver work and a nice piece of porcelain. All right, and that went for just $270. And I think it was mainly because of the crack. Um, uh, it held it off. Okay, now they say this is English silver. Okay, not European, so English. The seller looked up the marks, uh, English silver. Okay, stand corrected. All right, and then on to what's coming up. Um, this is one of the things that's coming up. This is really nice uh, uh, little little uh, carved uh, uh, lacquer and wood in row with a nice toggle on it. Um, this will be ending next week. It's uh, up to, just up to $52. It should do very well. It's a nice thing. It's a good little in row. And this is up. This is one of these great big um, Famille Rose jars. This is a big boy. And um, pairs of these sell for in the, you know, the, the, the ten to $15,000 range. Not on you it's not unusual um there's a pair of them coming up i think at nordblom's auctions in boston um if it hasn't already taken place there's a pair of them in there um here's a single and um it's up to 1350 dollars with uh f oh, just a little uh, four and a half days to go ends on tuesday we'll have that in the newsletter and then on to this was this is this nice little uh kung shi period dish with a, with a, of course with a ming mark on the back it's not ming but it's a nice kung shi dish, okay, and um, nicely decorated, slightly with these with these sort of lotus lotus uh, tip uh, borders on them, and uh, it's up to three hundred and forty four dollars, and it ends next Thursday. It'll do pretty well. This is a nice dish. Um, expect it to bring you know uh, eight hundred to a thousand dollars somewhere in there. And then there's, there's, there's this. This is a good little dish. Um, uh, the seller actually emailed me this along with something else he has up. And uh, it's a very nice Guangzhou Markin period dish. It's got six days to go. It's only up to $5. Uh, it's kind of surprising. He is a fairly new seller. But this dish looked okay to me uh, from what I could see. Um, if you don't agree, here's, here's one that was at uh, uh, Sotheby's uh, a while ago. Um, quite similar. This one's a little bit finer. The decoration's a little finer. Here's the Sotheby's example. Here's his, but not a lot finer. And this is perfectly good. Here's a picture of the foot room. There's some a little bit of uh, these Guangzhou traditions often have often have these little traces of kiln grit, kiln dust uh, on, on the inside where the, where the where the glaze meets the foot. 
pretty typical of these, uh, and there's some more of them. But the foot on this looks pretty good. The, the shading of the enamels uh, look okay to me. And uh, it's up to five bucks, and we'll have it in the newsletter. That's, a, that's probably a, a pretty, uh, you know, might, might be a pretty good buy. All right, and then on to this. This seller has a bunch of these tiles up. They're all Femi Ver. They're all 19th century. He has them down as Republican. I'm not sure why. Maybe, maybe he just doesn't understand. All right, here's a picture of the back of it. But the decoration on this is quite good. It's all good late Qing work. Nice looking tiles, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, it's up to four hundred and six dollars, and this is a seller we've um, never seen before. Urban Treasure, um, but there's I think five or six or so of these, and they'll all be in the newsletter. Uh, n they are not Republic; they are quite a bit older than that. It's just a little misdating on his part. All right, and then on to this. This nice Famille Rose, brightly colored Famille Rose Moon Flask, uh, popular form. Uh, they made a lot of these in the in the mid sort of mid, the latter part of the 19th century because they were so popular. And uh, of course, it's a form that be became very popular in the Qinlong era, um, and um, copied is still to this day in large numbers. But this is a nice older one. Uh, here's a picture of the bottom of it. Very typical foot, late 19th, mid late 19th century. It's up to $534, and it ends on this Sunday. And then over here, you have this orange Fitzhugh uh, Chinese export dinner platter um, with, with, with an armorial, a, a little memorial figure on here and, and some uh, uh, monogram. Here's a picture of the back of it. It's a nice one, nice orange peel texture. And again, you see the little bits of kiln grid on the foot, little signs of uh, authenticity here. Um, Nice looking thing. It's got some scratches, it looks like, in it, but that's okay. Orange Fitzhugh is always popular. It's got five bids. It's up to $315. And the size is usually the big one of the big determinants on these. This is a 17-inch tall one. All right. And then moseying on over to here, there's a nice little late 19th, early 20th century brush pot with a demon on it. Uh, that'll be in the newsletter, kind of cute. And again, another big, good export vase uh, from a garniture set. Uh, these are these turn up fairly often. Uh, this one has a little repair on it and so forth. But uh, if, you know, finding complete sets of these is rather difficult these days. Sometimes people build sets out of buying one at a time and sort of letting it happen. Uh, this one will probably sell in the uh, three or four hundred dollar range, I suspect, uh, because of the repair. But um, it's a nice thing. This is something Miguelari has up. All righty. And that's about it for the week. Um, uh, we, as I said, we cleaned up the uh, site a little, made a few changes on it. And um, uh, check out the uh, newsletter this week. If you haven't signed up for it yet, come over to bidamount.com. And on the home page on the upper left-hand corner, there's a sign-up form. It's completely free, as you all know. And uh, uh, check out the uh, form. Check out the uh, eBay Today page and whatnot. Check out the Catawiki things. There's more and more things appearing there. A lot of stuff on the market right now. It's a good time to buy, I think. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos. Leave a comment. And uh, have a great weekend, all right? And we'll see you all next time. And um, hope you, uh, everybody out there finds something in the next few days, something you like, and uh, build up your collection. All righty. See you next time. Bye-bye.